What is up to all of my suburbanites, beach bums, and city slickers? Friends, I am here with the what triple feature for y'all. And since this woman is fucking annoying, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, Hold on one second. Son, I'm not calling your name, baby. I'm just recording, okay? <laughs> All right, let's make sure Miss Mama's is sped up because she is not right now. Here we go. Okay, a chaotic weekend vlog with my husband. See what she trying to do right there is let the haters know <laughs> that she very much still got that man of color. Okay. <laughs> Crispy R's. Can you can you hear oh, wait. how it's Crispy R's. Can you can you hear how it's crispy? Last night I saw on TikTok, saw that and I'm like, yes. I can't such like a it, like I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have to try not to poop here. Oh this is like God. the easiest thing ever. I don't know why I expected it to be like so much bigger. Yarman has been full on Tokyo drifting. <laughs> oh boy. Hey you guys, happy weekend. Today is currently Saturday. It is noon and we are in weekend traffic. <laughs> Well, I'm already annoyed because you got on this jackot that is supposed to be only for toddlers. Okay? Why are they making this? And this, I didn't even know that they made these for silver for backs. Jesus Christ, Nazareth, man. <laughs> we're on like the worst road in our area on the weekends. Um, it's always slammed, but we're gonna go run some errands i guess so i figured i would take you guys along we spent last night and this morning binging the new season of drive to survive don't care you know, we love our formula one but like i was not super invested in last season because i just got kind of over seeing matt see this is okay and just like you're not super invested <laughs> we're not super invested either actually we're fucking annoyed and i for one hope that your big ass is pregnant so that we can get some real content because it's shit you've been posting lately that's why i haven't really been on it because it's like man i don't fucking want to see this the only time it's entertaining is if i'm watching tara or uh which is country shade tree or priscilla b p because baby <laughs> what i'm not gonna let you do is aggravate the shit out of me okay hurry up and get through this shit max Winning, winning, winning. It's always so exciting watching the season because you get to see like the behind the scenes and the drama and like I don't know it just it brings the season to life like I almost wish they could just like play behind the scenes of the season as it's going then I'd be more invested in the I actual season. We feel the same way. We wish we could see the behind the scenes of your real goddamn life to figure out what in the hell is really going on in that marriage. And I'm pretty sure that man of color that's sitting right alongside you right there, he feeling the same goddamn way, bitch, because look at how he's pondering into the distance, okay? <laughs> at this point, he doesn't even know what's going on. Imagine if every highlight reel was, like, edited by that team. That'd be amazing. That'd like, be amazing. What, even during the race, I want to hear the dun, 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 dun. Like, I want to hear the drama. I need the drama. Girl, shut okay. up. Um, also, you guys, side note, we just saw our first Tesla Cybertruck on the road. And we were sitting in a red light and everyone goes, Cybertruck. Smaller than I thought. <laughs> and I look up and I'm like, oh, I, I no. literally, I'm my reaction <laughs> was purely genuine. I just went, oh my God. <laughs> I was just like enamored. I, I'm not saying I think they're like the prettiest thing on the road, but like, it's just funny to see it in person. Like it does, it just looks like out of a movie. Like all these normal looking cars and then just like sci-fi looking car. You thought it looked smaller than you expected? Yeah. I thought it looked kind of bigger. It looks, bigger it looks pictures, longer yeah. to me. It looked like a shark. Or all right, it was probably big, but it was loaded. Like, it was lower than the ground. And yes, it yeah, it wasn't like up high, like a regular truck. Yeah, I get what you mean. Um, but we're anyway, we're going into Home Goods real quick. Um, we'll see if we go to any other furniture stores today. We're actually giving our coffee table and end table to one of our family members who needs one. Um, I've so had that nice. for a really long time since my last apartment from Jordan's Furniture. Yeah, so we're just gonna like look and see if we find a coffee table anywhere, an end table. Um, that we could replace it with. It's not like urgent or anything, but we're just gonna kind of uh, putz around. Oh, they got the Girl Scouts <laughs> up here on the left. Oh, this is a primo location. They're gonna make bank. See, and this is why your back is as wide as a silverbacks because you absolutely are gonna go over there 
and buy all of the inventory, okay, from those little girls that still in those cookies over there. When really you need to sit your ass down somewhere and not get so excited about some Girl Scout cookies. But here you is. And then you want to know why your surgery didn't work, but everybody else is around you did work. Yours ain't working because you're being a fat ass and you keep on eating all this goddamn bullshit. That's why. Today, next to the Target and Ulta, Oh, they're gonna thrive. Oh, it's on a Saturday too. Yeah. Yara and I just realized this is oh, I do love that. That is pretty. Don't have a spot for it. Not. it um that's meant to lift up. He's determined the quality here is not good. I will say this home goods doesn't have a ton of furniture, so we might have to go somewhere else. Um, which is fine, but this is the one closest to us. They do have some cool pieces though, but just I'm not seeing any coffee tables. Do you see a coffee table? <laughs> right here. Little baby. No! That is too small. We're gonna end up at like a real furniture store. But see, like, look how cool that is. Like, that's yeah, not. Yeah, they've got cool stuff. Because I just want something like kind of unique for the coffee table. He was just talking, and I just went, "Really? Wow." Well, there's two spots. Alex, Alex, listen, girl, stop playing with your nose. It's giving coke. Okay, cut it out. Leave your nose alone because it's a giving coke. I'm not saying that that's what's happening. I'm just saying. You keep playing with your nose and then you 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 recorded this and maybe you forgot you were recording. But Miss Mamas, you watched this back and saw yourself digging your boogers and you kept the footage in. Baby, it's giving coke. It's it's allegedly it's giving coke, okay? Spots over there. <laughs> Where are you going? Talking like a Kardashian. They have crispy R's. No! There's two spots. I hope these people don't get angry. There's two spots here. No, <laughs> like we both were. It was awkward. awkward. <laughs> I'm hella close to this car. <laughs> Can we position after the car? Yeah, I'm gonna recommend it. She's literally digging in her nose every 10 to 15 seconds. Are y'all seeing this? This is fucking disgusting. And she left it in her blog. And also, Miss Mamas. If you went ahead and let that surgery do what it do, then, you know, you wouldn't have been too close to that other car over there. I'm just saying. I'm just, you know, saying what everybody else is thinking. Okay? Okay? Your big ass would have did what you were supposed to do. You would have absolutely been able to have enough space to get out of that car. Crispy R's. Can you, can you hear how it's crispy? No! Hello, Wild Wings. No, but what we can hear is your thick ass lisp coming out of the thick ass cheeks and that thick ass tongue and them pumped up lips that you don't went and got enhanced. Okay, that we can hear that. We hear that fucking lisp. We hear that shit. It has no R's. So <laughs> I can't do it. I can't take us so soon. We just got to the mall. This is where the Jordans is. We're gonna check that factory outlet first. See if there's anything. Nothing salt kitchen. I like the concept of round, but it just doesn't work with like no, the space. Yeah. All right, we're in the regular old section now. But like, I don't know. I just don't know if they're gonna have something modern enough because we want to get something kind of cool. I mean, that's cute. Uh, just not doesn't like match like the vibes. Like the vibes. Like I wanted like yeah, to Yeah, cool shape or something. Okay, so we looked around at everything. This is exactly what I would want, but it's a little small. No, I love it though. And they've got. Okay, so the first time I looked at this. It just reminded me of the Flintstones. <laughs> it reminded me of the Flintstones, and I don't know why. I guess just the way that the legs are made, for whatever reason, when I saw this, it reminded me of bedrock. <laughs> Alex, Alex, no, girl, leave that at the store. You hear me? Leave it. Got the matching end table. I think we'll be able to find more stuff like this kind of probably at like a West Elm or Pottery Barn, but it might be a little more pricey, but I love that look. Okay, we're going to try Crate and Barrel. Beautiful day. What is this? Is it just a grill? Bougie grill. You, you know, know what it is. Like suburban dad mode. <gasps> I want that to make like a stone pizza. That's so cool. All right, the vibes are already vibing. That's pretty if we were doing circle. Ooh, this chair. Oh, no! Oh my God. This is... 
point. Am I in love with this? Bro? Girl, walk oh, away. God, babe, this was the table. Walk away again. I thought about getting this table, guys, for so long, but it had reviews that it, like, chipped easily. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yours won't chip easily if you got it because you never fucking sit at it. And also, no, 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 no. No to everything that you just showed, everything that you pointed your big ass finger to. No. N-O spells no. No. Shit. But I do think it's beautiful. But yeah, the reviews are not reviewing well. Hey, what are your thoughts on this? It's kind of cool and has a matching little end table. Oh, wait. <laughs> Look at that price tag. Never mind. Do you like that? Oh, I stopped it right at a commercial. But girl, since when do you give a fuck about a, a price tag when you spent, how much was it? Oh, shit. Um, $200 on the, on the camera. <laughs> Bye, y'all. This round, a long one. I don't love it. I mean, it's okay. Square. I like that. If it was a rectangle. Oh, the oval What's one. This? It was oval, not it's a square. circle. Oh, it's two different ones. What are your thoughts on that? Kind of cool. Okay. Not a fan of the color. I mean, they may have different ones. Because I do think. Uh, yar. Hello, yar. Woo. -hoo. What the fuck you mean? You're not a fan of the color? What color? <laughs> it's just as bland as your house and your wife's clothes. And all of y'all shoes and the walls and the floors and your carpet and the TV that is being used as artwork. Fuck you mean you don't like the color. What color? You should love it. I think you should love it because it's bland, just like the rest of your goddamn house. What the fuck? I think that's kind of cool. This is the stuff I like to look at, all the fun little objects. It's so pretty. Ooh, big art. Hmm? Would I use that? Um, I can't decide if I like the color. Is it for sale? I feel like it's not for sale. <laughs> I just want our house to look like this. No, you don't. I do. I just, I love, I live, laugh, love for the pompous grass forever in our hearts. Six and a half hours later. All right, guys, checking in. It's a couple hours later, and we are at the bike path. I would just like to point out the fact that you look ridiculous as hell with those dark ass <laughs> eyebrows that's going every which way and that extremely bright hair on the bottom that is also going every which way. And well, yeah, I just needed to interject that real fast. Pass, walk past, Yar is running. Bruni and I are walking. <laughs> Um, Bruno, when he gets his hair cut, his harness gets a little loose. And as we were trying Duh, to, walk, dummy. to go take a walk, he pulled through his harness and we had to chase him because <laughs> he thinks we're playing. Now you just wait one fucking minute, Miss Rodriguez. You just wait one goddamn minute. Running, we, 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 we you started speaking French, cuz. When you started speaking French, I mean, I know you speak silverback, but French? Girl, we? Alex, baby, you ain't ran nowhere. You hear me? You didn't run anywhere, okay? Tell that bullshit right there to somebody else, okay? You stop that goddamn line. So, that was fun. It was a lot. Um, but we still made it right before the sunset. I got to get him a smaller harness for when he has a haircut because it's all the way tightened and he pulled through it. So that was fun. Yeah, yard's running. We're walking. Just trying to get some fresh air since it's not too cold. Bruno's really out here choosing violence today. Choosing We're violence? And poop on our walk. So, gotta give him a bath. Okay, he got in the car and we're like... <sighs> Bruno, you are doing such a good job. Tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. Actually, I lied. It is 11, 11. It's 1 p.m. So, yeah, it's the next day. I washed my hair last night and, Yay! like, slept in it kind of wet. And this is just, like, what it does. Like, this makes no sense kind of texture. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. We are about to take a little road trip to Ikea, which I'm pretty gassed about, honestly. I have not been to Ikea in, I think, years. I decided to just conceal my pimples today and put on a little bit of blush. I just don't feel like wearing... Like a full anything. I didn't even put on. Nobody cares. I should have. And then I put on a little mascara. 
super quick, super simple because, you know, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. Anyway, last night I saw on TikTok, um, I saved the video. So we still have, I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. We still have up in our bedroom, the Christmas tree that I put all of the Valentine's Day decorations on. And it looks so cozy and cute, but I know once winter's over, I'm not going to want to still have the tree up. It just feels... I don't know, it feels wrong. Like, I love the twinkly lights though. Uh, it feels okay for winter, but. Listen, cupcake, sugarfoot, boobala, silverback. Nothing is more wrong than that portrait of you and Yar in the background and your big ass face and head overshadowing him and the top part of his shoulders. Yeah, yeah, choose, choose choose a different photo, okay? Sick of that shit, switch it immediately. And also the person that put your lips up full of silicone, tell them it's time to fix it because something something ain't right. Something is happening um, that, that I'm not here for. I'm not here for it, okay? And while we at it, that, that doctor that did your chin lipo, you need to go back. It's time. Your chin, your chins are chinning. Okay? Make that happen. ASAP. But this girl said the same thing. So let me pause and insert her video here. Y'all, I miss my Christmas tree. Okay, the ambiance that it gave, the vibe. But it's not Christmas anymore. And I feel like it's not acceptable to have a Christmas tree year-round. So I This woman looks like she's about... She's in an apartment, so I'm going to say between the ages of 20 and maybe 24 or 25. And for her, because I have seen this, for her to have this in her apartment, absolutely acceptable because of her age and the stage that she is in in life. But for Mrs. Rodriguez to be doing this, is absolutely insane. Y'all may think I'm crazy for pointing that out, but baby, <laughs> baby, this ain't the move. I don't care what nobody say. This is not the move. This is something for someone that's in their younger 20s, okay? Mrs. Rodriguez is in her 30s, and it's time to grow up, Miss Mamas. Miss Mamas, it's time to grow up, okay? I found something from Ikea. Not sponsored. Oaken sand or whatever the fuck is. this just in case just in case youtube want to try me with the whole music situation and then i'll be pissed with them and i ain't really trying to be oh man it's giving her a hard time even the dog is like you idiot <laughs> Woo! okay i like it for her house it's cute for her house yes because i love like getting in bed a little early but not for this silver bag. I said what the fuck I said. Sometimes and just snuggling up and, you know, watching a, a, Wait, movie, who? a book. But who are you snuggling up with in your room? Because that's your room. We Bitch, we know that's your goddamn room. That is your room and the dog's room. It absolutely is. Yard is in some other part of the house in and in its closed location that don't none of us know about. So, girl, who is you snuggling up with? Who, girl, who is you snuggling up with? Girl, who is you snuggling up? Girl, who is you snuggling up with? Snuggling up, girl, miss us. Whatever, and um, being in bed, and that's like the perfect ambiance, cozy lighting. And they're in stock at our IKEA. Our IKEA is about fifty minutes away, so it's not that bad. It's less than an hour. No traffic. It's Sunday. Um, it'll probably be really busy because it's a Sunday at IKEA, but. Yeah, uh, tis Whatever. the weekend. So, um, you're gonna take you guys along, and you know how it is at IKEA. It's like, at least I think it's like this. I haven't been in so long where I think you have to like walk through like the majority of the store to like get to the part where you can like get the items. <laughs> so maybe we'll, I don't. Maybe you can skip it now. I don't know. Um, but we'll see if there's anything else uh, that we want to grab. Not furniture, but probably not. But it's always just fun to look at IKEA because it's been so long. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go to IKEA today, you guys. It's a furniture vlog, even though we've like bought nothing. But when I get the lamp, of course, we'll set it up together and we'll get cozy tonight with it. I'm excited. Also, I think we oh found a coffee table that we like on Amazon, and it's only like two hundred and something dollars, so much cheaper. So but we got only yesterday, but 
Okay. All right, you guys, we are five minutes from Ikea. I'm so excited. I have not been, how long has it been since you went to Ikea? That's my time. He's like, what is that? Have you been to Ikea in a while? Not since I got my Oh, that takes me back. I'll never forget. Yara had so much Ikea. Yara had so much Ikea stuff when we were dating. He had a really nice apartment. Like, I went in and I was like, wow. Let me stop you right there, cupcake. You just got damn lie because you took us with you in a vlog when you were moving your boyfriend in, aka that man of color that's sitting next to you right there. Okay, Miss Mamas? Mm -hmm. You absolutely did. And what we saw was not no upscale apartment. Now, you can stop your fucking lying, is what you can do. It wasn't no great apartment. Uh, I don't even think that the bed had a headboard or a footboard. And I don't recall seeing any pictures on the wall. You ought to cut the bullshit. Because see, what you're doing right here is lying. You forgot you showed us when you conned him into moving in with you, girl, so fast. Girl, we was there, girl. Girl, we were there. Girl, we were absolutely there. Who you telling? Who are you telling? We were there, and you a damn lie. Wasn't nothing fancy about it. He was doing what he needed to do at that time until he built himself up to where he needed to be, which is absolutely okay, and it is absolutely commendable, okay, because he did what he needed to do. You, on the other hand, I mean, girl, did you even graduate from high school? I don't fucking remember. Shit. A bougie. <laughs> yeah, like, I know, he, he's all off the front, but like, he had such like, a, a bougie loft apartment, um, like with like the exposed brick and the high ceilings. It was really nice. And then he had like a card table for dining people. <laughs> and like, he yeah. had like, a $200 couch. And I don't care that it's 200 it was just really uncomfortable. It was just such a bro couch. I remember one night we were like watching a movie. <sighs> Listen. From woman to silverback. The reason that that couch felt like that is because your arse was too big for it. It was just fine for y'all and his homies because they don't weigh 380 goddamn pounds. You big back Bertha. A movie on your couch and I was just like, I don't know where to go right now. Not enough room to lay down. Not enough room to curl up. Um, it was funny because you were never home. You were just commuting to Boston for work all the time. Now you're busy, so. Sure. Commuting to Boston all the time for work. I am definitely using my air quotations, if y'all can imagine that. Because that's what he was doing. Girl, when y'all see... What I love to do, and don't try and go, Mrs. Rodriguez, and delete these now or make y'all delete it. Because, baby, one thing about it and two things to show, mama already got those screenshots. But around the time that you're saying that you guys met and you guys were dating or whatever, and you just met on Bumble, uh, y'all, girl, the streets is talking. Because I found this myself, girl, and I hear these streets, girl. Y'all was still um, quiet as it's killed. <laughs> you ain't hear from me. But when y'all first got together back in June, girl, he was still liking his ex's photos. Yes, Lord, girl. And quiet as it's kept, girl, them likes is still on her photos today. So while you around here making fun of somebody that was living life so that they could you know, the best they could until they got to where they wanted to be. So, you know, because it takes men time to finish school and, you know, graduate, get good jobs and, you know, become the men that we all ultimately want them to be. See you laughing at his process and his progress. So everything that happens to you, I'm here for it because you a bitch. You absolutely are. But that, that's what I think of when I think of Ikea. I think of your, your apartment. But. All right, we're five, four minutes away now. Um, so nice driving on a Sunday when there's no travel. So nice. So I showed a video to my mom, the video of the lamp that she thought was such a great idea. So really excited to like get home and set it up and see how it looks. And it's going to be so cozy um, and just like the perfect little um, 
the office, you know what I mean? And like once that tree was gone, I was trying to figure out what we we're gonna put in that spot of the bedroom since we moved, you know, kind of the olive tree downstairs. So I think this is gonna be perfect. So three minutes, let's go. Oh, there's a Christmas tree shop here. RIP. Um, I missed Christmas tree shop already. It makes one, me there's one ten minutes from us. Maybe they all closed. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's like a, open all yet? it was like a thing. They all closed. So, so it's seasonal? No, like they're closed forever. They shut down. Oh. Yeah, that's why it's so sad. It was like a New England staple. No way. I know. No, no one gives a shit. <gasps> what? Yo. There's a Costco? There's oh. Costco. Do you want to go inside? Kind of, but. <laughs> we got time. We could. <laughs> Our dream is to go to Costco. We've never been to one. We're on Costco TikTok. Oh, wait. Mm. We can't. We're not members. I think you can get like a day pass. Thank you. Yes, you definitely can. Mm -hmm. Let me Google it. They do not have shopping passes based off of what they, they definitely do. I'm so sad. It would be. A smart it would be I... But Alex, Alex, you said that they definitely do. Now, see, that's your problem. You always speaking out of turn about some shit that you know nothing about. Shut the hell up until you get the facts okay look at your big ass face so i feel like they had them when i went to like bj's or sam's club before or maybe i'm literally just imagining that that's very possible i guess bj's and sam's are not costco bj's and sam's has their own set of rules and costco has theirs just because sam's did it doesn't mean that costco has to do it even though we know your big ass if you see anyone on TikTok do something, you're going to totally do it. Because, see, that's you. You don't have any standards. But other people, they have their own rules and regulations that they guide themselves and their lives by. But, see, you don't have any guidance. And that's absolutely your, your problem with them lips looking like raw chicken. Ugh. Such like a, it, like, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to try not to poop here. <laughs> It's one of those what? places, it's like a home goods where it like it stirs up a lot in your digestive system. No! It's like kind of anxiety provoking, but like in a good way. Even Yar is confused. Look at Yar's face. He is like, what in the fuck did I sign up for? I mean, is the check really that good? He has like the whole like math equation circling around his head right now. Because, like, what did this dumb bitch just say? That is exactly what he's thinking, Miss Mamas, because you are a dingus. Anyone else? Okay, we're here. No. Ooh, that's pretty. To the showroom. To the showroom. You, you really thought we were going to walk through this house? No, I, I didn't know if you were, like, down to walk through. I asked him if he wants to go through the showroom. He's like, are you joking? Yes. <laughs> I'm like, oh, thank God, I married the right kind of guy. I've always seen TikToks, babe, where people stand in these rooms and they're just like, look at my new apartment. <laughs> and it looks really real. I love these showrooms. Those are really nice. Why is it so cozy? What? Oh, we, we were dumb. We should have gotten lights cheaper. No. But didn't we have to? No. We. There you go speaking French again, Alex. No, ma'am, Pam. Uh, we weren't dumb. You were dumb. Y'all knew your dumb ass didn't know. But see, he wasn't going to go back and forth with your special needs ass. He was just going to let you do whatever in the hell you wanted to do as long as you didn't crowd it out with all that boho shit that you used to like. Next. Have to order it from the place that the house people told us? No. <laughs> we're naive. We are so naive. Well, so, you are. Otherwise, if you guys do new construction, you don't have to go with the vendors. They tell you to. <laughs> the good thing is, too, we did not order the coffee table yet. So if by some chance we find one here, that would be great. Look how cute this is. You could put, like, Christmas cards and stuff on it if you don't want to use, like, your fridge. Because our fridge doesn't have a magnet. And also, look at this. is what we have. We have this at home, but from Amazon for your shoes. So if you need, like, a thin, thin little thing. Love it. Those light yeah, fixtures are, what are made of. I'm obsessed. No! Oh, look how cute this room is. No! Oh, this is adorable. So we already ordered the bookshelf for our study. Um, and it's getting delivered Ooh, next week. Hell so they no. They really loved it, but this one would have been nice too. I think. Oh, so you have to add everything. So 200 for that, and then 69 for each of the side ones, and then the lights. Wait, it says this combination 209. Combination, right? I think the whole thing is 209. No way. Maybe it is. It's so pretty though. You guys, here's the lamp we're gonna get. That's so exciting. It looks so cute. Yeah, this is the lamp. Yep, I'll consent. Only 60 bucks. Babe, I need to sit in this. I, I just have to sit in this chair. Oh. Uh, it's a big ass out of the people's town. 
That would be Yar's kitchen if he lived alone, and this would be my kitchen if I... Actually, this kind of looks like our kitchen, never mind. That's not good, Yar likes, like, more dark, moody, modern. Actually, we both like this one. This is really pretty. I like the lights in the cabinets. Should we add lights to our cabinets? That's kind of fire. Okay, no. Janet Jackson's popping. This is giving my YouTube era circa 2015, and I'm here for it. Even maybe 2020, honestly. Everyone had this desk. I miss this desk. They gotta start with the gravity. They are heavy, remember that? Oh, yeah, I have the tall one, but not, like, the desk version, right? Or, yeah, we're gonna have the desk and the cabinet. Had all my makeup so in here. It's two sets of jars, and then you buy the tabletop. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It is a great desk, though. Nice little vanity. Yes, I love looking at the closets. Ooh, look at this. I'm sure you oh, do. Look at that for your pants. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is so nice. I like this one a lot. It's very, very beautiful. I've never seen a concept like that for the pants, and I think that's like genius. This one has it too. Ooh, let's see for jewelry so nice all right we made it through the showroom and now we are headed into the marketplace and we're gonna get our lamp these are cool you ready They're yeah four wheels, huh? oh it's roly roly yeah. not gonna listen to her music because i don't want a copyright strike all right here we go here it is this is like the easiest thing ever i don't know why i expected it to be like so much bigger because you're a, a new game? yeah yeah oh it's a new thing yeah Oh, it's so cute. It's new, no, it's I thought you meant, is that new? I'm like, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Because basically, it's just like a bunch of stands and stuff, and then you stretch this so, over it. FYI, exploded three bulbs. Okay, so we need bulbs. Three of those. Oh, love that. Yay. I'm glad you saw that. because I'm sorry about the alarm that you're hearing. That's my dryer letting me know that the clothes are done. Sorry about it. <laughs> I would not have. That's why you have me. Yes, I'm glad I have you. Yarman has been full on Tokyo drifting. <laughs> he does not like these carts. <laughs> why is that so funny? I'm having a hard time. Hey, right, you guys, we secured. We secured the lamp. Yeah, overall, it's like a shit. Christmas shopping experience. Oh, yeah. That is real depressing. That is like the prettiest Christmas tree shop. They're all so pretty. I miss you. I took, I took you for granted. I really did. Like, I have some of the best memories going there with my grandma when I was young. And never again. Very sad. Anyway, we're going home to put up our lamp. What was it called? Ozen dog? Ozen dog? Probably pronouncing that wrong, too. Brittany, you want your toy? You want your toy? <gasps> you want your toy? Where's the squeaker? I can't find it. Oh. <gasps> oh, you want it? <laughs> All right, you guys. I am going to take down the Christmas tree. And Yar just went down to get a screwdriver. A career in cybersecurity is definitely... Not listening to the commercial. Absolutely fucking not. To assemble the light while I take this down. Praise the Lord. Well, y'all is about to do all of the work, and Miss Mamas is just gonna lay in this fucking bed with the goddamn dog and give instruction. I want y'all to look at what is supposed to be her calf area, which is under her knee, and just like then look at your calf and tell me, is yours that big? Mine isn't. That is insane that she's that big after two weight loss surgeries. <laughs> um, we accidentally got cool toned lights. Um, but Accidentally. We prefer warm, but nothing a little. Uh... Um, the thing with Ikea is that if you buy online and you ship it, the shipping prices, I think, are insane. Do you think for like light bulbs, though, I could find it on a different. Like, Maybe if you type in the Amazon um, or something. E12. Yeah. What do you think of all this, Buona? Mm -hmm. Didn't even really, like, that means cool. Like, what? I don't know. Yeah, the E12. I'm sure we can yeah. figure it out. All right, the grand reveal. Uh, yeah. Dun, da, da, da. No! Cool. <laughs> even Yara's hey. face was like, oh, why does this look like <laughs> It's so cute, though. No. Like, I love, I love the light. Let me turn off, like, the overhead. Oh, yeah, it's real like we, we have like all warm lights and then this is <laughs> overall we love the lamp just need to get the warm tone wow but it adds like the perfect amount of coziness no to the room you know without having to turn on like the bright overhead light but as you Hold can your see hand. Kind of warm light people so whoopsie daisy <laughs> um actually babe they might have even been sold out of the, the... there wasn't any lights in that no so. but it's so freaking cute i love how it's kind of like it looks ribbed you know it's so cute I um really easy assembly sorry about the noise that you guys are hearing i am recording this at home and not in my office 
And that's my baby boy just warming up some, what are they called? Twisty things from, from Domino's or whatever. So, no, you can go ahead and finish. You can go ahead and finish. Uh, they'll be all right because this is our house and whatnot. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Assembly. So, yeah, I'll link it if you guys want to grab one, too. I'll keep you guys posted on the warm light bulb situation. Hopefully, no, we can easily you. not have to you know, drive back to get them. <laughs> Go right now. A few minutes later. All right, you guys, full transparency. <laughs> this is driving us nuts, and we really wanted to enjoy the light tonight and, like, watch a movie sure. in bed or something. So, they have them at Lowe's. It's not that big of a deal. They have, they're just E12 bulbs. So uh, we're going to go get it now because <laughs> we simply cannot help ourselves. Sunday, it's like, it's like, Even Bruno confused. You know what? That's, that's, just, life. that's, that's life. That's the adventure. Yeah. You want to go for a ride? You want to go for a ride? Come on. <laughs> Who loves the car? You do, you do. Who loves the car? You do, you do. Thank you like you. those because you get to go inside. Are we at your favorite place? Uh -huh. He loves to sniff around here. Probably smells so many dogs. Doesn't even confirm. If it says E12. That's the one we need, right? Yay, it's a three-pack, guys. And we're doing warm white. Okay. We'll see how it looks. Bruno made a friend. There's this cute little girl playing with him. Big good Bruno. Bruno's so good with kids. You're so good. Why do you have the dog in the store? store? There it is. <laughs> it looks great. I feel like it, you can't tell on camera because lights are kind of hard. But, like, we love it. It adds the perfect amount of coziness. Oh, there it is. Without putting on, like, the big lights. That looks yeah. better. We did it. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Looks good. Love. Fantastic. Man, she just abruptly ended that vlog. She was like, yeah, okay. Bye, y'all. So um, that was that one. So now let's go back on here. And then we're going to go one vlog back. And then we're only going to have, so um, this one day in my life vlog. Um Let's go ahead. We're going to do that. And then we have the Trader Joe's taste test. So let's go. I don't know how much to do. <laughs> Jesus. The holes, they're just not in the right spot for me. Tonight we're making a lasagna soup. Breaking apart noodles is a lot more chaotic than I expected. They're going everywhere. Chaotic. Hey, this is what Hello, I'm doing. guys. Welcome Hello. back to a new vlog. How is breaking up some noodles chaotic and see that is exactly why that man of color over there is on his way out the door i am about to refresh my hair i just went to sephora and bought this only this because i've heard really good things and i was on the hunt for a new dry shampoo so i got this one from day it's the fairy duster dry shampoo this was 30 dollars. and don't get me wrong the one i normally buy is from living proof and it's also pretty pricey i think i just feel weird this one's so small but the whole difference is it's like straight up oh my gosh guys i didn't try to do that my bad i didn't mean to do that i really didn't so small but the whole difference is it's like straight up powder and a little bit goes a long way it's not spray so i think it's gonna give like the same amount of product but i'm gonna like do a hair refresh right now even though i actually think this looks pretty cute i've got my little skims clip in um i had an appointment this morning so i do have on glam oh side note this is the newer shade I picked up the other day from Maybelline, and it is so much better. As you can see, this is 112, and then this is uh, 110. So it's just like a sprinkle lighter. This was a tiny bit too dark right now. Like I'd have to really blend it down my neck. I think this one's... When we are on the scale of color, hues, if you will, what the hell is a sprinkle? Huh? What, what's the sprinkle? Tell me that, girl. Huh? What the hell is a sprinkle when you're talking about makeup? Son. Better? Son, I'm recording. I can't have that in the background. Sorry, guys. Again, this is why I be recording now at work in my office. It's okay, buddy. But I can't have that, the sound in my background. The the youtube what that you're watching sorry again friends <laughs> so anyway yeah i went to an appointment this morning and then i just popped into sephora and grabbed this this was the last one so i was very excited and i also used 500 of my sephora points to get it for ten dollars off so i spent 21 dollars. so i have not dry shampooed my hair yet since i 
washed and styled it. So I'm really curious how it's going to go. I think I've had this for about three days. As you can see, we're, we're a little greasy. We're a little greasy. Section hair hold four to six inches away and spray directly onto roots. Let it sit for 15 to 30 seconds and then massage it with your fingertips. I was really excited that they had it. Um, I don't know about you guys, if you have AT&T, this morning um, for like, it just came back on actually, and it's like 12.30 right now. There was this huge, I think nationwide on and off for people outage, cellular outage with AT&T. So I didn't have a uh, service when I like went to my appointment and it was like kind of liberating, but it was also kind of weird to be disconnected. So you guys will have to let me know if you also lost service. It was weird though, because my mom is part of our AT&T plan and she had service, but I did not. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's see, four to six inches. Whoop. So you just poof it. Ooh, it smells good. I don't know how much to do. <laughs> Jesus. Day products all smell so, so good. Am I the only one? I discovered day products through Emily Kaiser. I feel like in the TikTok world, she kind of put us all on with the styling cream, but I may be wrong. People may have discovered it far before Emily. Emily ain't put me on to shit, bitch. I'll tell you that right now. So you can say all of us, no ma'am, Pam. Nope. I'm gonna just kind of section some little flippies here. God, that smells so freaking good what does that smell like it's like almost like fruity fruity candy and i feel like the good thing is <laughs> once i do dry shampoo it like kind of tends to last for like days so that's good it's kind of like a every few days after and then i usually just wash my hair okay so i actually i think i spread it pretty evenly but you know i'd love to find a non-aerosol dry shampoo just because like i don't know i've heard they're not good for you and i've tried the one from Kristen s or was it Odell? Maybe I tried both. They were both at Target. Um, and they were okay. I didn't like love them as much as my aerosol ones though. Okay, so it's been about a minute. Give it some time. So now let's give it a good old ruffly do. I'm actually really feeling how my makeup had turned out today. You know how some days your makeup, it's like you love it or like other days it's just like. How do you love that, Alex? You have a huge ass, harsh ass line going underneath your blush. It's called blending. Blending, girl. Learn all about blending. Damn. Yeah. But I did like this tiny little baby wing with brown eyeliner. Um, and the lashes are lashing, you guys. I'm telling you, that lash food serum combined with, I'm not, I'm not gonna buy another mascara. This is okay. my favorite right now. I mean, I have others that I like. These are the other two. Like, I really like the Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions and then the Kill Lash from Clio. These are my other two faves, but like right now, this is bae. Like the lashes have never lashed so hard. The combo of the serum with this mascara has just been like really working for me. So I'll link those items. If you have sensitive eyes, that serum is safe for you. I've got like the most sensitive eyes ever. Honestly, the one oh, reason I'm not gonna, probably ever, I mean, maybe How long is this gonna be on? Uh, get LASIK is because my contacts protect my eyes from everything. If I try to do makeup, chop an onion, forget about it, or like do anything without my contacts in that's like sensitive, my eyes will burn so bad. It feels like I'm taking <clears throat> a torch to them if I get like a drop of anything in them. <laughs> and my contacts literally like protect my eyes. So I don't mind wearing my daily contacts, but um, I just feel like if I got LASIK, I heard your eyes can get more sensitive after the fact. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little yeah. bit of the Kevin Murphy Young Again Dry Conditioner, just you might as well try it, Miss Mama. I mean, you tried every other surgery out there. <laughs> Maybe the LASIK one will work <laughs> in your favor. Because chin lipo didn't, and the lap band didn't, and gastric bypass didn't, and the tummy tuck didn't. But maybe that LASIK, maybe that one will stick. I'm not sure. Son, please close the door. Diamond is right there. Diamond, go ahead. Sorry, guys. Again, see, this is what happened when Mama Nella records at home, but it's okay because I am a mommy first. Always mommy first. A little bit on the ends for like, see how it kind of gives like a little, ooh, little shine back to the hair, a little hydration, but you only want to make sure this goes on your ends or mids, but I really like the dry shampoo, you guys. There's no white cast, like, at all. I feel like I liked that it absorbed so well. Didn't leave a white cast. It doesn't, it never felt like wet. You know how some dry shampoos like never feel fully dry or like you have to wait a long time or blow dry them. 
um, and it smells incredible. It gave a ton of like volume and lift. It does say on it. It can absorb oil, add volume and extend your styles. So overall, I like it. Going with a little bit more dry conditioner. And it's, you know, I feel like as the day goes on, your hair does get more dry at the ends after you don't wash. And it just makes like the ends so soft if you do like a dry conditioner and see how it has a little more shine. And I might just like touch up. Yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, but I, I'm, hell no. I need, I got to skip because girl, fuck this. I don't give a shit. We got to go to something else because I'm bored as hell. I don't started looking at my phone and doing some other shit I have to remember what i ordered together because i got this at least a few weeks ago oh i was excited because they had a few things that were giving it like derf avenue jerf derf <laughs> that's another emily kaiser influence okay we didn't get that much like a couple pieces and then i did fall victim to another like instagram ad or tiktok ad for jeans from the moco boutique they looked so cute on the models and i like how they always have like a plus size person and the straight size person uh, together. These are from Lover Vet and they just like look so, they look so cute. And you know how they're supposed to be like really stretchy? So hopefully they are. Um, I got my regular size 18. So we'll see. I don't have any <laughs> bottoms to try on from Princess <laughs> Polly, so. Forever a size 18. <laughs> When are you gonna let go of this entire size 18 thing? You were an 18 pre-op. You were an 18 during the op. And you're an 18 post-op. Girl, miss us with this forever a size 18. Why are you stuck with that number? Like what's wrong with saying I'm a size 20? I mean, if you are, you know, and we all know that you are girl. You forgot that we are women too and we wear women's clothes and we know how the body is shaped and how different brands and sizes will fit on your body, Miss Mamas. Girl, you are not an 18. You want to know why? Because your, your fupa won't let you be great. Your fupa refuses to let you be great. You hear me? Cut it out. Here, yeah. cut it out. Immediately. So let's try the jeans on first. Hopefully they've got a good return policy. These are some big ass knee holes. All right, they fit perfectly. That they, look good on me. they like expose the part of my leg I like the least. Here's what they look like. Overall, they are so comfortable. So. I want you guys to take a look at something. And this, my friends, is very goddamn telling. Look at. Mrs. Rodriguez straight on in the camera right here. Do y'all see that? This looks like someone that is 18 and someone that's not lying and that's not filtering shit. Now what I want you to do is immediately look to the right side of your screen and look at this bitch's reflection in this goddamn mirror and tell me, tell me that this is a size 18 woman in the mirror, not the one that she has edited, because guess what? Even her arm looks slimmer to the left because of the filter, but look at her in the mirror is what I want y'all to look at. Do y'all see what I see? Do you see what I see? Look at her thighs now. Look at how much more they stick out and poke out uh, Alex, are you filtering and using the slimming feature again on your video? Girl, one thing about it and two things for sure, Miss Mamas, your lies always catches up with you. This is wild. What a revelation. Stretchy. The holes, they're just not in the right spot for me, but I, I really like the fit. Like they feel. Now, look at how much rounder her butt looks here. Okay. And how not as wide that back is. And not the legs aren't that big. But now I want you to look into the mirror. 
Gaze into the mirror and tell me what do you see? Some big ass calves. Do you understand me, people? And see, Alex, Al, Alex, this is why people are so fucking pissed with you. And this is why I'm going to continue to keep my foot on your fucking neck until you get your shit together, bitch. You hear me? Huh? What the fuck is this, Alex? Explain this shit right here, Alex. This shit right here? This shit right here, Alex? What the fuck is this? Look at your legs in that goddamn mirror. And then look at your edited version. Wow. Wow, wow, fucking wow. Great. I'm gonna see if I can exchange them for a whole list. Okay, well, this is super cute. I got this t shirt from Princess Polly. Again, that kind of Earth Avenue vibe with like the soft watercolor y fruits. I think, I think this is adorable. So it's a nice, like, perfect cropped fit where it's not like. And I think, I think you're an idiot. Oh, look at that screen. Oh, oh, what the hell? Alex. Girl, it's giving possession, okay? Dropped, but it will sit perfectly with a pair of high-waisted jeans. And I don't know, I just think it's so cute. It's just like perfect for getting into a spring vibe. It's got like lemon, grapefruit, peaches, grapes, and then some little flowers. I am craving warmth. I'm craving sunshine. <laughs> and like, just, I don't know. Like, I just want to be able to wear this with like some flip-flops out in the world. Okay, you guys know on the day-to-day, -day, I'm just, I'm a sweatshirt girl. I love a crew neck. <sighs> An oversized, loose, comfy sweatshirt. Um, I have this really cute with the Princess Polly logo and it's a since 2010. It's got cute stripes down the sleeves. But yeah, I think this is just like so, uh, so cozy. And again, like going from winter to spring, it kind of gets to that point where you wear stuff like this and your leggings and Uggs until you can switch over to sandals. So yeah, I don't know, I love this. It's really soft, really, really nice quality. And then I also got a PJ set, which is also very uh, derfy in the US. 18, they got everything in an 18. So look at the cute shorts, this cute little <laughs> pattern on them. They're very lightweight, which I love because I get hot when I sleep and they are just these shorts and then a matching tank. Girl, out of all the things you could have picked off of their website, you chose everything that your grandma would wear. Girl, see, this is why that man of color is not attracted to you in any kind of way at all, except for in them pockets, girl, get the wings because it's giving very much sugar, baby. This little cami. Um, I don't want to try this on, but here's what the model looks like. It's very oh like soft, lightweight. I love how it has like the eyelet design. So it's going to give you that nice breathability if you also get hot when you sleep. And I just live for like a cute short and tank matching pajama sleep set. That's what I love to sleep in. And last but not least, got this little headband. So cute with the cherries on it. I love headbands. I really do. Especially in this hair phase. I feel like you know, whether my hair is straight, wavy, or curly, I can just throw in a headband if I want to wear it down, but keep it out of my face. And it's a little bit thicker in the front, so you can kind of scrunch it if you want to. I'm so sad about these jeans, because they feel so... Again, look at the girth of the thigh versus what is really there. Man. Comfortable, but... Look at that. Unbelievable. Much, it's too much thigh. It just doesn't feel right. So let's see. Please tell me I can return these. Looks like I can return it within 30 days of purchasing, but there's a fee of $8. You don't need to return shit that you don't had on because you're coochie dirty. Okay? You don't wash it. Don't return those jeans that's not been on your dirty coochie, bitch. You understand me? Colors, that's fine. I probably will if they'll like do an even exchange, just exchange them. Cause like I said, I actually, they're very comfortable and I'm here for a comfy jean. But yeah, that's good. I'm gonna either return or exchange these. Okay, you guys, I am sitting at the island doing some work. I like working in my office, but like there's just, I don't know, there's something about working at the kitchen island. It just hits every time for me. Okay, so I want to oh. do a little recap or just touch base really quick on the Risa Tisa story. Um, I talked about it, like, I think I talked about it briefly in a vlog and I posted a couple like TikTok. No, we don't care about Risa Tisa, but what you can tell us about is that you and that man of color over there, huh? What did that contract say? That's what you could tell us about. 
That's what we want to know. We don't give a damn about no Reese Teeth. Fuck her shit. What are you and y'all doing? He talks about it, um, but I finished it, oh, was it yesterday or the day before. And like, I miss it already. I did the math and it's literally, she posts 50 videos. I, mean, I forgot the math. <laughs> she posted 50 videos in that series, 50 parts. And they're all like 10 minutes. It's literally over eight hours of content. Um, and she put out a TikTok uh, recently saying that she made it like that designed to be like listened to as an audiobook, which was genius, which is exactly what I did a lot of the time. I would just kind of, I put in my AirPods and just, you know, do the dishes or whatever and uh, listen to it. And her voice was so soothing. Um, I did hit a little with the 2x speed sometimes when I could, but otherwise I just, I spent time listening to that. And the story was just, incredible i'm so glad she shared her story um i'm sure it's gonna help so many people who have that like gut feeling that like so it should help you in your situation miss mamas see you missing it that universe that you like to pray to so much it, it was showing you you bitch <laughs> you missed it you absolutely missed it something is wrong, you know, trust your gut people. I just feel like we were given with this instinct, trust your gut. Every time I haven't trusted my gut, like it proves to me like, girl, you should have trusted your gut. So oh, just, I am so invested now on the whole story. If you don't know what the hell I am talking about, there is Risa Tisa on TikTok post, you've probably seen it. She posted a story time called Who the Fuck Did I Marry? And it, she starts every video like that and it's ingrained in my head for the rest of my life. It is just so good. This woman married a pathological liar during uh, lockdown, during COVID. And he just like lied about everything, everything, like was on the phone. See, this, her life is playing out through y'all right now. Man, who the F did, did y'all marry? Because it wasn't the girl that he saw in those pictures on Bumble. Talking to people that didn't exist, family members that didn't exist, or that he hasn't talked to in it. A decade and lied about his job, lied about m the money he had, putting in offers on homes that with like a fake um, chase approval letter. It was, it was just so much. It's just so much. And it, it, she's really great at telling the story. I found it was like the perfect pace and detail oriented flow. I thought it was perfect. But um, I'm really happy for her because one of the things he had lied about was like getting her, he kind of like would keep giving her crumbs to like keep her there, which is super like narcissistic behavior. Been there. Um, <laughs> Ooh, yeah, you've been there. You're there right now. Every time, I'm going to say allegedly, just in case you want to be a bitch, but allegedly, every time that man of color that's over there with you want to dip out, you get him something new. I don't know, like that fucking Tesla that he wanted. Boom, bitch, gotcha. <laughs> but he promised her like a trip to London where she's always wanted to go for her birthday. Um, and now like we're all just like rooting so hard for her. And like I saw that she's going to be going there. Um, and I think I saw in the comments that Delta like wanted to fly her there. And then someone else like a hotel commented about putting her up. Like people are giving so much love to her and it just makes me so happy. And she's going to vlog her trip there. And now I'm just so invested. Um, people were saying like, call it life after Legion and we're all rooting for you. It's just... Oh. It's just, I'm so happy for her. And it's just such a magical thing to follow. Um, all this good stuff that's coming to her now. I did see, I can't decide, like I can't find the original anywhere, but I guess he came out and posted like a response saying that, why are you lying? You cheated on me with Bradley. And all the comments are like, who the hell's Bradley? We all know there's no Bradley, but um, I'm just, I'm so invested. I just like have to talk about this. Um, my friend is watching it too. And I've been talking about it with her, but like, it's just so much. Like, please, if you have not listened, I know it's a lot, but like, the great thing is if you click on the playlist, you can just play in order and it auto plays. So like you can just throw in your headphones and like fold laundry or whatever and listen. And it's just incredible. I want her to get a book deal, movie deal, all of the above. And I'm sure she will because it has taken the internet by storm. I'm sorry. I just, I had, I had to talk about it. I'm also watching Love is Blind right now. I'm a little behind cool. um, because I wanted more episodes to come out. Um, I just started episode six last night and then got tired and stopped watching. But I think up to episode nine is out now. Every, I can't like give my opinion on it yet because every 30 seconds, my opinions on certain things. First of all, you shouldn't be giving your opinion on shit, bitch, because you and your, min your minions don't want anyone giving opinions on you. But since you give opinions on real people's lives, we're here to give opinions on you. You're welcome. Things change. So yeah, I'll talk about that more when 
I watch like up to the rest, but it's a really, uh, really entertaining season so far. So that's my little reality catch up <laughs> of the day. So I did um, print out the label and box up the jeans. Um, and I'm gonna go drop those off at the post office. All right, you guys, it is now five o'clock. I went and did my return at the post office and I'm about to whip up dinner. So I thought I would share with you guys. I'm trying actually something new that has been all over the interwebs. And I've actually, I've tried several TikTok recipes all the way back to the feta pasta and I haven't had one not be good yet. So tonight we're making a lasagna soup. I'm just gonna throw a little uh, bit of this yeah. avocado olive oil blend. <laughs> Alex, girl, <laughs> mm, lasagna soup. That's what you're gonna try to feed that man of color over there? Lasagna soup. I bet Abuela and Titi never in a fucking life <laughs> heard of, much less made a goddamn lasagna soup. Let me tell you something. We ain't eating that. And by we, I do mean <laughs> the people of color of America. Stop, stop, stop with this TikTok recipe stuff. You're trying to make it happen. It's not happening. I keep trying to give you little tips and hints and clues, and you keep doing this dumb shit. Girl, no, no, no. Into the pot, a pound of lean ground beef, and I'm gonna use my handy dandy meat masher, and then we'll get it all cooked and browned. Okay, so I just seasoned it with salt, pepper, and garlic and onion powder. I'm also gonna add in a lot of minced garlic, I'll let that kind of cook there as well. I drained the excess oil, and I'm gonna add in this um, reduced sodium chicken broth. We do this whole container which is 32 ounces. And I'm gonna add in this whole jar, 28 ounces of crushed tomato. You could do chunky if you want, like diced, but I like smooth. And I'm gonna add in some tomato paste, a couple tablespoons, mix it all up. So I seasoned the beef really well, but now I need to season. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna do oregano, um, a little bit of thyme. And I don't love the taste of rosemary, so I'm just gonna do like a little bit and i'll taste it later but I'm gonna that. salt and pepper bitch. not too much because i don't know how salt you better get your ass over there quick and learn how to season up some shit because what the fuck was that hmm the lasagna soup is about to taste like a bunch of grass what the actual fuck is this huh alex listen no ma'am no ma'am in no universe no time frame, not on this earth, the other earth, not here, not there, not in the plane, not in the train, okay? We do not like it, Sam I am, okay? Cut it out! You better go find some more fucking seasonings and put it in that shit with all that. Girl, mm, put tomatoes in, tomato paste, all that goddamn broth, and you put in a sprinkle of salt and pepper, and then you just... I don't know, put half a jar of, of seasonings that look like grass in it. Girl, if you don't get your ass over there and get that soul food seasoning, huh? And put that shit in there real quick. Find your ass a bouillon cube and throw it in there. What the fuck is this shit right here? It's going to be from the broth, but just a sprinkle of salt and then we'll see. Now we're going to bring this to a boil before we put in our noodles. Okay, so I brought it to a boil and now it's just doing a very light simmer. I turned it to low because we're not gonna eat for probably like 45 minutes. And then I'll come back probably 10 minutes before we're ready and break up some dry lasagna noodles and let them cook in here. Oh, no. um, and then serve it with like some cheeses on top. So oh, no. I will be back when I put the noodles in. Okay, it is time to add in our noodles. I just went ahead and tasted this and it is incredible. I ended up adding some red pepper flakes. This is my first time making it. I looked up a bunch of recipes and kind of just made it my own. Um, but I added a little bit of red pepper flakes for heat and it is delicious. So oh, now we're just going to break apart lasagna noodles, you know, some bigger and some smaller and let these cook in the broth. I don't know if I want them big or small, so I'm kind of just, oh, Jesus, <laughs> doing both. Breaking apart noodles is a lot more chaotic than I expected. They're going no, everywhere, not. but for real, this tastes incredible. So I think it's going to be perfect with the noodles and 
with a little bit of a, like ricotta on top. You have to be a special kind of dummy to not be able to crush up or break up some noodles without making a mess all over your stove. What'd you say, son? Did you say, bruh? <laughs> My son said, bruh. Tell me, somebody don't know how to make noodles? No, son. She don't know how to use or make anything. And then get this, son. She can't even season chicken right. <laughs> he said, failure. Her parents failed her. See, even a 13-year-old knows. Oh, my gosh. Let me keep going. Sorry, y'all, for that. All right, there we go. Is that a good mix? I just have like a half a box left, so just use what we had. But this is gonna give it like a good, you know, nice texture. So I'm gonna bring this back to a boil and let this cook for about 10 minutes and then we'll add our toppings. All right, you guys, it is time to serve it up and put on Not... our toppings. Okay, Miss Mamas, what I thought was gonna happen is exactly what happened. It just looks like a very wet, spaghetti but instead of spaghetti noodles lasagna noodles must you fail at everything that you do and see this is the bullshit that i'm talking about uh right along with that stupid ass tattoo that you got on your damn hand and so i ended up just like kind of making um a little mixture versus like putting them all on separately, like the way you would make an actual ricotta mixture for a lasagna. So ricotta, Parmesan, Italian seasoning, um, and a little bit of mozzarella. So you can kind of just let it melt on top, like take a little bit. Yeah. Your bite. So let's give it a final taste test. All right, you are finishing up work, but then we're gonna watch John Wick 3. It feels like Fast and Furious all over again where we're just like. If that food, if that man of color thought that you could cook for even a second, he would have. Either A, hurried up and finished that work, or been like, fuck this goddamn job. My wife don't cook, and that bitch can throw down. Let me get down styles. But nah, he's still up there because fuck your lasagna soup. Actually, fuck your spaghetti, because that's that's exactly what that is, Miss Mamas, with some ricotta that you throw on the top. You are hopeless, and it's sad. like binging the series okay i'm so excited okay here's a bite with a little bit of everything the cheese mixture uh the meat and lasagna noodle i gotta let it like cool down it's very hot yeah All right. ass. i like this better than lasagna oh my god if you need a new dinner idea this is it great leftovers <gasps> that's really good and once you like add in the noodles it becomes less brothy because like at first i was like this is a lot of broth but it does soak up into the noodles wow 10 out of 10. Definitely give it a try. Let me know if you do. And let me know if you guys have any other fun recipes you want to try because I love trying a new dinner recipe. Tomorrow. You guys, guess what tonight is? We've got our leftover lasagna soup. Yara's got on his McLaren shirt. Oh, wow. That was a. You have some leftover lasagna soup. Yar ain't finna eat that shit. And you want to know fucking why, bitch? <laughs> because that man of color ain't finna eat that shit. You understand me? Cupcake. He ain't finna fucking eat that. He's not eating that bullshit. Do you understand me? Huh? He's not eating it. Dumbass. I know. It's a special night in the Rodriguez household. Bruno even has a little snack ready to go. We're about to watch the new season of Drive to Survive. It's Friday night. This is a perfect Friday night. And I know we're going to binge this. No, it's not. Weekend. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Happy Sunday when you're watching. Let me know if you guys watched the new season yet. Absolutely Bye, not. Unfucking fucking believable, man. Poor Yar. And y'all like, oh, Yar this and Yar that. And he's, man, y'all don't understand what the fuck this man got to endure and what the hell he got to deal with with this non-cooking ass, fat ass bitch. Are y'all kidding me? Let's go on, on to this last one. Um, It is a Trader Joe's taste test. See, Alex, you're always tasting something. And that's why you got three chins, bitch. Because you always taste testing some shit. Unfucking real. Enter your great hair arrow with suave. 
We can't watch that. We can't watch that. Mm, can't watch this one either. Let's see. Hurry up, commercial. Shit. We trying to hurry up and watch this shit. Boring as fuck. Whew. It's got to hate. Look at that fat hair. I can't open the door. Nope. Okay. Get me out of here. I'm feeling perusy today. I literally just like dream of the day I can make my kids an Easter basket. Sorry, y'all. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. I am about to run into Target and I was like, I should probably vlog. I was not going to, but I probably should. Um, I'm just grabbing like household essentials and I might peruse. I'm feeling perusy today. So I've got on a million different shades of pink between my hat, my coat, and my shirt. So I don't know. I'm really in like a pink mood lately. So yeah, let's go. Let's go get what we need and probably things we don't. Let's see what Target tells us we need today. You guys, how cute no okay i am absolutely in love with this for five dollars i i have to get that you i haven't seen their easter stuff yet look at how cute alex girl you don't put that shit back put that ugly shit back put it back now wait are you sped up because i'm not fucking watching this shit unsped up goddamn carrot sticking out of a fake ass grass box what the fuck Cute. I'm gonna say cute a million times in this video, so sorry in advance. You guys, this is a good section. Look at this. Oh my god. And then they've got this like chicken. You could do a little dip. Oh my god. Oh. Bunny. Stop it right now. I am so in love. And look at they got these little these have bunnies on them. Oh my gosh. Little bunny candles. Oh my goodness. Fabric. Super. I don't know what I would do with these, but I like think they're so cute. I do love the towels here too. I feel like if you ever need a good like tea towel, these are the way to go. I honestly have no desire to look at clothes here. I feel like they've been so dry for so long. I just don't even want to look. But of course, not as dry as your sex life. <laughs> so I will look over here. It's pretty. Nothing really new over here. Not that I need any home decor, but I think I've pretty much seen all of this already. Glad you know it. Okay, I have the shade 112 and it's like a sprinkle, sprinkle too dark. So I'm gonna try 110. Sprinkle too one dark. The lightest one. So save 112 for when I like get a little more tan because I love this stuff. I also need my favorite brow pencil. I just finished it, but I think I think they're out. Maybe I could try this instead. This looks kind of interesting actually. Two in one pencil and powder. I mean, we could try it. <laughs> okay, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna get this. So Hopefully it works well. Okay, we need refills for these little toilet wands. I love these, they're so convenient. So we've recently started trying bamboo toilet paper and I've never tried the brand from Target. We bought them on Amazon, but uh, we need more. So let's see how this brand is. Okay, we Wonderful. need yogurt for yogurt bowls. I don't know, I buy a random one. I feel like every time I come here, but I do like this brand, it's low sugar. I always have to look at the seasonal stuff and guys, look at these eggs. No, you these don't. Are, like, beautiful. I would literally just like use this as decoration, but I think it even opens. Put it back. It's so cute. They have mini peanut butter eggs. Oh my God, yum. I literally just like dream of the day I can make my kids an Easter basket. <laughs> so cute. This is adorable. This is also like just so freaking cute. No. Because, no, I've been buying, my mom loves birds. I always buy her one of these birds, like her the holiday. I feel like I need to get her one of these. Mm. This little bunny one, are you kidding? It's no, are you one. kidding? Which one do we like? None of bird, them. Valentine, this little guy's cute. I already got her on with glasses. I'm gonna get her, I'm gonna get her a little bunny. Look at all these fun flavored trail mix, bunny bait. You don't need it. Cake. Spring shimmer, spring clover, caramel bunny kisses. That's so fun. They have so many uh. fun little snacks, confetti crunch. Carrot patch, strawberry covered in mini pretzels. Jesus These are my favorites. Squishmallow. Oh my god, that is probably like a highly collectible item. I'm sure. And then this little one. Oh my gosh, so cute. Bruno is obsessed with this dog food topper. No, so I've been the pumpkin kind to help his his uh, anal glands in his butt. Um, I think it's helping. So I put this on with his food. So I need to get more of this. He loves it. He also loves this one. All right, you guys, we did good. We did not go uh, overboard at all. We actually. Just pretty much got what we needed. Okay. Well, we don't know if all you got was what you needed because you only showed yourself scanning the one thing that you got for Bruno. Fucking liar. I'm home. That hat kept sliding up and looking so ridiculous. 
That's because your head too goddamn fat for it, bitch. Get a bigger hat. It was like when I put it on a looser one, it felt too loose. But when I had it tight, it was kind of like riding up. And then it would just like sit too tall. But here we are. So let's open this PR. I love LMS. Is it going to be cleansing balm? I cannot wait to give my mom this little, this little bunny bird. It's so cute. And I think the shade of this 110 is going to be perfect. Um, because yeah, that's not what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the house labs today. Cause that one matches me. Perfect. I've pretty much just been wearing the Maybelline or the house labs right now for foundation. Ooh. Up there. Oh, fine. I love a headband. I really do. Thank you. LMS. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, this is one of the best cleansing. Oh girl. <laughs> so y'all gossip time. All right. So word on the curve is, is that LMS don't drop little miss mamas from the PR situation. Okay, you ain't hear that from me. Um, but yeah, I was snooping and whatnot on Country Shade Trees um page or whatever, girl. And the word on the curb, Miss Mamas, is that they gave your ass the motherfucking boot. And I'm glad that they did, cause fuck you and all of this bullshit that you be trying to push with your lying ass. Go elements, okay? Fuck her, y'all don't need her. Okay, call somebody else to do it. Get somebody else to do it. Bombs. Um, I like this one, the Clinique one, and the Verse one. Um, Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Great to just get everything off. Um, and then we've got the Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. And their Pro Collagen Marine Cream, SPF 30. And then this cute little headband. Oh, and under here, with the cleanse, is an LMS washcloth towel Wonderful. so nice their stuff is very good so um just got home i'm putting stuff away um i'm gonna bring these upstairs i'm also gonna let you guys know how this is too because i don't think this is the one that i normally use no it's definitely not but it looks pretty similar but hopefully the formula is good so okay you guys good morning sorry it's the next day um i didn't vlog anything else yesterday because there was nothing fun to vlog i spent the afternoon editing answering emails etc bitch <laughs> You don't ever vlog anything that's interesting to vlog, yet here you is, okay? We just watched you open up PR. That's riveting to you? Girl, shut the hell up. And then um, some of my friends came over for our weekly Bachelor. What friend? And it was like kind of crazy. I just feel like this season's going really fast. All of a sudden there's, I think at the end of the last episode, there was only- I wish this vlog would go six like girls, Which is wild. And I feel like he has a really, really good group right now. So, um, what a week. Anyway, I'm having just a little protein berry smoothie for breakfast today. Um, and Yara and I have been both craving overnight oats, and I forgot to make them last night, so. Yara ain't craving shit except for another woman. The silverback, on the other hand, is absolutely craving overnight oats. You're welcome. So I'm going to make them now for tomorrow. Otherwise, I will definitely forget to make them later today. Mm. When you put like a little fresh fruit instead of just frozen, I swear it tastes so much better. Also, you guys, if you didn't order this yet, this is like my favorite new kind of baggy oversized sweatshirt from Amazon. It's so freaking soft and comfy, but it's not too hot either. They have a ton of colors. So I sized up and I got the 4X. And next time I'm definitely going to get the 3X. But just for reference, I think it goes up to 5X. This is in the color khaki. It's ribbed. It's, I don't know, it's just there's something about it. It just feels like the perfect lounge sweater. Um, I'm definitely gonna order other colors, but I'll link this. If you didn't grab it, it's so nice. And just like the perfect transition piece for like winter going into spring. All right, so I grabbed everything I need for the oats. First, you're gonna need oats. We've got unsweetened vanilla almond milk. You can also do like a protein shake or add protein into it, but I'm gonna do some yogurt to get a little protein, peanut butter to get a little protein, chia seeds. On the top, I'm gonna do a little bit of cacao nibs and granola and I also add in some vanilla extract you can like just do anything with these this is kind of just like my basic recipe <laughs> but you know you can do like chocolate covered strawberry vibes you can do so much I'm trying to like learn to put some pieces down to like make my hair wispy because now I do feel like I'm kind of in the grow out phase oh, which can boy. get a little awkward I feel like by the summer it will be at a point where I can add layers so I've got these I've had these forever they're from Amazon as well I'll link them they're just like perfect these little overnight oat containers they are airtight and keep them in the fridge great for on the go and then it has like a little wooden spoon so first I honestly I haven't made these in a really long time but I just eyeball everything they do like kind of expand a little bit so you don't need to do like 
a ton of oats. I mean, unless you want to. Okay, I'm going to do some vanilla yogurt. Just do a plop on each one. Okay. Oh, and I'll give it a nice vanilla flavor. I'll still do like a teeny weeny weeny bit of vanilla extract. Now, peanut butter, you can do any, any nut butter that you like. But we are a peanut butter household. Okay. Butter, butter. Imagine just like put straight up butter <laughs> in your overnight oats. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of chia seeds in each one. And the good thing is it'll absorb nice overnight and get a good texture and I think more nutrients. And now just like the tiniest, tiniest bit, like a drop it, drop it, okay, of vanilla. I'm gonna go in now with some almond milk and give it a good mix. Might need, yeah, I'm gonna need, gonna need more milk. Um, I feel like the peanut butter is kind of hard to mix in, but when you mix it again in the morning, it's a little bit easier, but I try to really mix it in there. It's just like this big chunk of peanut butter, but I just like love having peanut butter in my overnight oats. Mm -hmm. I love peanut butter, I really do. I guess I forgot how much liquid you really need for this because it will absorb into the oats. And I still like it to be like a little bit liquidy in the morning, not like thick, thick. Okay. That's that's a good mix. Whoa, so now I'm gonna mix the other two. All right, now we finish it off with a little bit of granola. I would also normally add like fresh berries, but I just finished them in my smoothie. And then some cacao nibs, but like strawberries on this or raspberries would be so good. Actually, I'll probably run out and get some later and I'll add some tomorrow, but yeah, these are gonna be so good tomorrow. All right, overnight oats are in the fridge for tomorrow. So I'm actually gonna go out and run a few more errands. It's very errandsy vlog um but yar just ran out of coffee and he likes to get coffee from like local roasters so he hasn't found one like since we've moved here um that he goes to regularly so i'm gonna go pick him up some fresh coffee um his machine can grind it so i'm gonna get the whole beans get him he said he wants a light roast and a dark roast half pound bags so i found one that's like 20 minutes away so i'm gonna go get that and then i'm also gonna run to trader joe's to get some more um berries see if there's anything interesting to try i just love going to trader joe's sometimes and poking around but since i need berries and he also needs brown sugar for his coffee so let's go run some errands okay you guys i am trying oh to find God. this place and i can't find it like i'm in like the weirdest parking lot Look at your GPS and the signs, dingus. I like I I think this is it right here, but there's no. It's not written anywhere on here. <laughs> like I don't want to go in there, without it being. That just doesn't look like I don't even know if I can get in there. Wait, this is so bizarre. <laughs> I'm like I'm not gonna. I don't want to leave. We all look at this idiot driving around. Like 20 minutes. So this place has really good reviews. All the other ones are like in the city. And they don't want to drive to the city. Wait, I'm so confused. What's going on? Okay, there's a lady pulling in right now. I'm going to follow her. I'm going to follow her and see if she goes into this place. I might have to, I genuinely might have to call them. I didn't think. And then I'm like, is this only like a wholesale roastery? <laughs> like, am I not even supposed to be here? Maybe I should call them. Oh, Lord. Maybe I should give them a call. Stop. Like, the door there says stop. But then I, like, pull around this corner over here, and it, it says the coffee place's name. But there's no door. It's giving warehouse. It's giving warehouse. It's giving dingus. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna have to do some research here. Bruno and I are struggling. Okay, you guys. No, I just you. I don't know if I'm allowed to, like, go in here. So, like, I'm in the back of this building, and it says, there's the coffee. Okay, there's a guy in the window. Okay, I think I'm allowed to go in. I don't know. It just, it feels wrong. Oh, no, I can't open the door. Nope, okay, get me out of here. All right. Never mind. <laughs> so awkward. Weirdo, man. There's a guy in the window who works there. <laughs> and he just, like, watched me walk to the door and try to open the door. <laughs> and then walk away. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I had called Yar before I attempted to go in and I was like, I don't know if I'm allowed to go in here. I don't know what I'm doing. And he was like, look at the website. He's like, I, like the website says wholesale and retail. <laughs> so I figured it would also like have a little retail area. We'll see if I can find another one around. If not, like perhaps we'll get some at Trader Joe's. Yeah, I don't know, will. but all right, we tried. Hopefully that gave you a good giggle. All right, great news, you guys. <laughs> 10 minutes later not too bad there was another coffee roaster more south like further away from us um but i figured since i'm already like out this way it's easier than going like in the opposite direction like further 
so I just pulled up and it looks super normal, which is good, like a normal cafe storefront situation. So I'm very relieved. They also had good reviews. So uh, let's go. Let's go secure this coffee. All right, Bruni, I'm going to go on dog mode and I'll be right back. Oh All right. Look how normal. Oh, hot chocolate. Yum. You guys, that place was so freaking cute. They were so nice. They had a hot cocoa bar they're offering this month. It was so small. I felt too awkward to like vlog in there, but I got the coffee. That would be like such a cute place to bring like your kids because they had like a hot cocoa bar with all these cute little toppings. So if you are around, I don't know where I am, North Kingstown, Rhode Island. Um, they have it for the rest of February. I guess it's only like another week, but it was so cute in there. Really good vibes. Um, so, and they were great too. I'm like, hi. I don't know much about coffee. <laughs> I'm like, but my husband's looking for whole beans, mm. one light and one dark roast that's not fruity and more like chocolate notes. So we got for the light roast, a Mexican blend, and then for the darker roast, a Colombian blend and whole bean. So secured the bags. Ha -ha. <laughs> that, was, that was a journey. I'm glad I took you guys along just for a good giggle. All right, now let me see how far it is to Trader Joe's because I feel like I'm kind of far at this point. 19 minutes. All right. If he likes his coffee, it's a little bit of a hike, but for the husband, we will go. All right, next stop, Trader Joe's. The sky is blue, and it's actually not too cold. Ooh, pizza party chips. I feel like Yar would love these. Sit back. I love these. These are so good. I don't think I need them right now, but they're really good. Is this new? I've never seen this before. That sounds really good. These are really good. It's such an easy dinner to just like buy these things. All right, I'm gonna get this for a side one night. Look at that. Oh my God, baby zucchini. Yep. These are so cold. cute. I love zucchini, so I think I'll get this to go with the potatoes and then like chicken or something. What and then like, a couple that? salad kits. Got the berries. Oh, I saw these on TikTok. They've got some new stuff. Strawberry kettle popcorn. Oh. These look really good. No. These. This is the best. I always repurchase this when I come here. You guys, they're playing Vanessa Hudgens, Baby Come Back. And I'm very happy. Okay, I'm going to get some more fruit for smoothies. Frozen pineapple. And I'll get this little berry blend. Oh you guys, God. I see everyone rave about these protein bars. So I'm just going to get one and see. No one is I'm so raving. excited I found these. My friend has been telling me how good they are. And she said they've been out of stock. So I'm going to get a bag for her and for me. No, no you nest for Yar for his coffee. All right, you guys. Back home. Let's do a little Trader Joe's haul. Even though I think you saw most of it. But I did get a couple You're things in. I'm going to do a little taste test with. Okay, so got one for me and one for my neighbor. I love pickled flavored anything. So we're going to try this. Got a couple different salad kits, the veggies and greens and Mediterranean side. I bet your ass ain't going to do no fucking taste test on that goddamn lettuce and shit. Bet money. Well, the Mediterranean one has romaine, broccoli stalks, radicchio, <laughs> celery, flatbread strips, feta cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, roasted chickpeas, and it comes with a red wine vinaigrette. And then the veggies and greens is crisp and crunchy blend of veggies, including cauliflower, brussels, um, radicchio, I think, <laughs> kale, dried pear crumbles, pistachio, and honey ginger dressing. Nice and sweet. Then I got more berries for our yogurt bowls and I might do a little on top of those overnight oats jumbo blueberries are in right now highly recommend trying the jumbo they're just better and I already have chicken breast so one night I'll just do like a seasoned chicken breast with um these mini zucchini oh, um you can steam or microwave I'll probably like cut them a little bit and saute them oh they have like a little recipe okay actually you can cut them like lengthwise and then saute them and then these are really great as a side as well they're four cheese scalloped potatoes so quick delicious and then frozen pineapple i love pineapple in my smoothie and berry blend a surprisingly delicious smoothie is um pineapple and banana like for the fruit it works somehow it's like creamy and fruity and then <laughs> this is so good you don't get like a ton of servings out of it it's like enough for two or three people depending how much you eat probably two people on average um, but the first of all who in the hell you think you alex you can absolutely eat that entire thing on your own. Why did it have to be this way? Because you're fat. <laughs> Two or three people, bitch, you can eat that by yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Girl, miss us with that bullshit here. Yeah. The flavor on this is phenomenal. Like, it's wild. Everyone raves about Trader Joe's hash browns the patties um sure they do so i got them and i got yars 
brown sugar. Oh, I want to try this. I'll, I'll taste test this as well because I swear I've heard from so many people how good the Barbells protein bars are. I didn't know what kind to get. The salty peanut sounded good. Hopefully I got a good choice of flavor. The pizza party chips. I'm intrigued because I actually remember as a kid really liking pizza Pringles. And then the last thing to taste test are these adorable tiny donut holes. I saw these on TikTok. They're so small. They're so cute. And they're actually uh, gluten and dairy free. So, all right. I'm gonna put this away and wash my hands and then we'll do a little taste test. First up, this is gonna be pretty much lunch at this point. So let's try the barbell. This has 20 grams of protein. That's really, really good. Zero grams. Shit today. I did not mean to fucking do that, guys. I am acting like a dingus. Like dingus on the screen right here. All right, here we go. Sorry. Pretty much lunch at this point. So let's try the barbell. This has 20 grams of protein. That's really, really good. Zero grams of added sugar, only one gram of sugar in it. So, all right. Everyone says they love them. Salty peanut. Here we go. I really like the texture. It's very chewy. It's like kind of nougaty. It doesn't have a weird protein taste because... I hate the taste of protein. It reminds me of being on like diets as a child. <laughs> a hint of protein taste at the end, but way less than other ones. Overall, give it an eight out of 10. Let me know if you have a favorite flavor. I'm sure that one is like not that popular, but it just sounded good. I think people like the cookies and cream one, but it just didn't sound appealing. Overall though, if you're looking for a protein bar, that one's definitely like the least gross I've tried. <laughs> Let's try the pizza party chips. I'm curious if these are gonna taste like the Pringles. Let's give it a little sniff. Not super strong, but we've got a good amount of color on this one. Lots of seasoning, so let's try it. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh yeah, that is really good. It says on the back, it's a pizza party in a bag, people. We've taken classic kettle cooked potato chips and sprinkled them with a trio of pizza-inspired seasonings. A cheese and garlic seasoning, pizza sauce seasoning, and a pepperoni style seasoning. So that's why they all are like, they're all kind of like different shades. Like see how that one is like a normal potato chip color, but then this one's, you know, different. So. Are they all different? This one definitely, like this seasoning one tasted like a Pringle one. Okay, they're different. That one is the cheese and garlic. Wow, I like this one the best. I don't know what the other one would be. Ooh, how did they do that? <laughs> they're all like actually different. I think this is a pepperoni one. Okay, I think I tried one of each kind and I can actually like differentiate the flavors, which is wild. I'm surprised that I like that so much, but hopefully y'all like them. <laughs> now, dill pickle chips. Oh wow, these look different than I expected. <gasps> they're like, whoa, whoa. Whew, that is, that's dill. These are like superly coated in seasoning. Wonderful. You can see like the dried dill. So you can see all that. Okay, let's try it. Whew, it's got tang. That's like, that's like the most realistic pickle chip ever. Wow, make a wish with your folded chip. Oh. Those are really good. I would highly recommend both of those chips. All right, last but not least, good. let's give these little donut holes a try. I don't know if you can tell on camera how small they are. They're not like your typical donut hole, like, from like, you know, Dunkin' or whatever. Like, I feel like this is like half the size of a normal munchkin. Yeah, but gluten-free yeah. and dairy-free if you need that, so. Cheers. I had high hopes for these and they did not disappoint. OMG, that's delish. Okay, you guys, new Trader nice. Joe's finds. All were a hit. I'm gonna finish this for, for lunch now. Probably have a couple more chips and call it, but um, I have to edit this vlog because it goes up tomorrow, but I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out. If you guys have any Trader Joe's recommendations, Leave them in the comments. We love the Drader Joes. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out, and I'll see you soon. Girl, get your ass off my damn screen. Oh, y'all, that was a lot for me. But I am caught up with y'all now. So let me tell y'all where I've been. Disney World. Y'all know I live in Florida. Disney's not so far from me. So I took little noodle for Rudel you know, to um to Disney. And he definitely, definitely enjoyed that. And so did I. So with that being said, to all of my suburbanites, beach bums, and city slickers, bye.